Well, another Canadian company was slammed today, blamed for the most expensive onshore oil spill cleanup in U.S. history, more than $800 million and counting. It happened two years ago near Marshall, Michigan. A cracked pipeline led to heavy crude dumping into the Kalamazoo River. Today, U.S. officials had some choice words for Enbridge. The CBC's Paul Hunter has more from Washington. Paul. Hey, Mark, you know, when it comes to that spill, here are some of those words the National Transportation Safety Board here used today about Enbridge. Deficient, inadequate, ineffective, and that at Enbridge, it says, there was a complete breakdown of safety. To anyone who saw the oil that day or smelled the fumes, it was obvious this was a catastrophe. Three million liters of Alberta oil sands crude gushing into an otherwise pristine river in Michigan, the summer of 2010. All from this two meter crack in a corroded pipeline run by the Alberta energy giant Enbridge, which found itself in the crosshairs today in Washington as the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board released findings from its investigation into the disaster. When we were examining Enbridge's poor handling of their response to this rupture, you can't help but think about the Keystone cops. Why didn't they recognize what was happening and what took so long? The board underlined that when the pipeline ruptured, Enbridge waited fully 17 hours before shutting it down, despite multiple alarms. And investigators learned Enbridge had known of cracks in the line for five years, but failed to make repairs. The board points to inadequate training at Enbridge, pervasive organizational failures, and what it calls a culture of deviance. It, it's evident that this accident did not just occur because of corrosion in a pipeline. What this investigation has shown is that this accident was the result of corrosion throughout, throughout many vital safety aspects of the Enbridge organization. Though it also cites poor federal regulations as a factor, the board's focus today was that company from Alberta. None of its key findings were challenged by Enbridge. Its CEO came to the hearings today to watch, listen, and think. Can you say this will never happen again? No, absolutely not. And, and Air Canada doesn't give me a guarantee when I get on the airplane in the morning either. Unfortunately, I can't. I can guarantee you that Enbridge will do everything it can to learn from this incident to make sure that we minimize the chance of it ever happening again. But with mechanical equipment, I can't give a guarantee that it will never fail. The board itself acknowledges pipeline leaks may simply be a fact of life, but it says not this one, that this one didn't need to happen, that Enbridge could have prevented it, but didn't. Mark. All right, Paul, thanks so much. CBC's Paul Hunter in Washington tonight.